from 64 countries. Give it up for everybody, ladies and gentlemen. There's a lot of things happening in the outside world right now that you and I can't control. And here's where the power is. If we master our inner world, we can easily master the outer world. There are businesses all over the world that were almost crushed that are now doing better than they ever have before because it's not the strongest that survives. It's the most adaptable. We're gonna start seeing if we can't recognize the patterns that control your business. And when we do, then start to use them. We've got some tools that are gonna blow your mind by some of the most successful entrepreneurs in the world. This is boot camp. Entrepreneurs obviously love and care about what they're doing or they wouldn't be doing it. And if you don't love and care about it, then maybe it's not the right thing for you. What are you doing to build a relationship with everyone who's part of your journey? If you're authentic about it, it will take hold. The secret is to have a good idea that's non-obvious. Mm. And I think finding that for your own business, your secret weapon of your judgment is, uh, is, is the thing that uh, no one can catch up with, even the big companies. Well, welcome to my basement. This is where it all started. You know, when they started shutting things down, I'm sure you've had to figure out how to adapt. And I really, my heartfelt wish is to really serve you in a way this week that'll blow your way. That'll really give you the momentum that you need. You know, I, I was told by seven different medical professionals, told me I was never gonna live past six or seven months. And they said, man, you're done. And, uh, you know, I'm sorry that you, you know, made these choices. You were on opiates, different things. But I, I defied the odds. Sure did. If you put your foot forward, yes and you accept the challenges and you like face what's happening, you know, you can make it happen. And I'm grateful for you, Tony, and your wife. I, I, I know for sure that, Thank you. you know, I, <laughs> with everything that's happened, man, I probably would have been, you know, facing certain death, you know, and I never thought I would ever be free. The number one New York Times bestselling author, of this book. You are here to do something really important, which is help us not just live longer, but live better and become yeah. CEO of our own healthcare. This book, Life Force, I could not stop, Tony. I'm not kidding you. I read it every, I mean, I kept going and going and going. I read this whole freaking book. I can't believe oh, I I'm, did. The things I love about you, Tony, is that how you can take the practical things we do every day and give us some profound meaning in it. Two things you guys are really talking about that are real breakthroughs. One, we're actually gonna help prevent getting these things in the first place, knowing what we know. And two, we're, we're gonna be able to fix the things that we can't even imagine are fixable. There's a revolution that's happening right now in our medicine. There's something called precision medicine, and it's very different than anything we've seen before. It's being driven by technological changes, but it's happening right now by a group of scientists around the world. So I decided I want to interview 150 of the very best Nobel laureates, scientists, the best medical doctors. And none of the book is my opinion. It's bringing you exactly what they're showing in the areas of increasing energy and strength, vitality. What are the basic things you can do that don't take anything at all, just a couple of choices? What are some of the new tools and technology? And then if you're having a real challenge, if you've got something like cancer, heart disease, Alzheimer's, what are the best tools that are really available now? And I just wanted to bring it to people in a way that would be accessible. Welcome to this special Life Force edition. Today, we've got quite a great little session set up for you. We were literally on bringing you 10 of the smartest people I know. Out of the 150 people that I interviewed for Life Force, there are 10 that really stand out that are creating breakthroughs around the world in this new form of medicine, this regenerative medicine, where you regenerate your body, literally, with precision medicine, where you see what you can do to shift your energy and your psychology and your physiology all at once. I'm gonna bring you 25 of some of the smartest investors literally in the history of the world. This may be one of the most important programs you've ever attended because of the times we're in. And if the winter inside you is managed properly, it can be one of the best seasons. And that means you gotta make sure there's an ongoing spring or summer inside you that never goes away. Because things melt down so much faster than they grow. But in the midst of this is the greatest opportunity in your life, which if you keep your head together, will make you wealthy beyond your wildest dreams. What's really gonna make you wealthy it's the moment you find the place inside yourself that no longer depends on your identity for money. A successful life is not having the most stature, the most fame, the most money, the most any of those things. A successful life is having the life that you want in which you earn more than you spend. If you worry, you don't have to worry. And if you don't worry, you need to worry. <laughs>
it still comes down to ultimately, can you extract real wealth from your life? Can you extract appreciation, joy, and gratitude out of your life no matter what the hell is happening around you? If you have that, you're going to be rich and you have nothing to worry about. Then let's take care of the money. <laughs> Please help me welcome to the stage, Tony Robbins! How are y'all doing? 50,000 homes, 40,000 participants, in 136 countries. Give it up for everybody around the world. This is an experience designed not for you to just be okay. This is about how to take back control of your life. It's about creating life on your terms. I want to help other people. I want to say, hey guys, like here's this opportunity. By being here, I've learned growth and contribution is what I need to be focused on. They attract everything. Yes. While you and I are working our tail off here, and we're gonna have a good time too, and you're making these changes, we're gonna be helping other people as well. I'm donating one and a half million meals in all of your names. Who came here to make some lasting changes where you're gonna do whatever it takes to make it happen? Say I. Welcome to Business Mastery number two. Business is a spiritual game. You gotta do more for others than anybody else. If you are a giver, if you over deliver and you manage your numbers, you're gonna prosper, you're gonna build a brand, you're gonna expand. April 21st of this year, my business partner and I are closing and selling just over 200 of those houses for almost $80 million. Give them a hand, ladies and gentlemen, that's incredible. You said it before that one insight can make a total change in everything. I took eight bullet points out of this event which has made me over 25 million. Give me a hand for that, ladies and gentlemen. The combination of knowing how to grow the business, how to make sure the value gets delivered through the value chain, knowing how to negotiate, knowing how to manage your numbers combined, the opportunity gets greater. Welcome to Wealth Mastery 2022. You are making history. We have over 3,000 people here the next four days from 99 countries around the world. I love numbers and numbers love me. I love numbers and numbers love me. Success in life is 80% psychology, 20% mechanics. When you own the psychology, the rest is easy. The goal is not to have the highest numbers. The goal is to have the highest, deepest quality of life. Welcome to Leadership Academy 2022. Leadership Academy in the history of Robbins Research, in the history of the world, 62 different countries in this room. And over the next four days, we're gonna commit to mastering one of the most important areas of life, and that is leadership. The world, in my opinion, is crying out for leaders, and it's needed more than any time in the history of mankind. And it starts off by leading yourself. That's why you're here. It's not just what you're going to learn here and what you're going to do here that you're going to learn for yourself. It's what you're going to do outside of here that makes a difference. Ladies and Ready? gentlemen, what? please help me welcome to the stage, Tony Robbins! How y'all doing out there? Konnichiwa, buenos dias, buongiorno. Thank you for joining us and thank you for the privilege of allowing me to enter your home. We have over 10,000 locations going on here with about 12,000 people from literally 117 countries. So what if you and I started to have a new belief? And that belief was that everything is happening for me, not to me. Oh, yesterday that you said is achievers fatal flaw is that they're so damn hard on themselves and I just thought nothing has ever fully entered my body like this has. Let me ask you an obvious question what could screw this up? The answer is only the mind not your heart not your spirit your mind is a judgment tool and judgment is a useful thing to use at times but you got to be able to take control of it so it isn't only judging all the time. If you want to change the quality of your life, you want to change your life, there's only one way in order to have a lasting change. And that is just, you must raise your standards. Turn your shoulds into musts. Welcome to Black Adventure! This is the largest flat adventure trip that has ever happened. And so we are here today to support Hands for Hunger. And their, their mission really is to end hunger in the Bahamas and to ensure that everybody has access to free, nutritious meals a day. Welcome, welcome, welcome! 67 countries, 2,300 participants from around the world.
around the world. This is the most important event for you to have as a foundation. Our outcome is not just to add more years to our life, but how many of you want to add more life to your years? Welcome to not just life mastery, welcome to your life mastery. These next three days have been created by two of the greatest legends that this industry has ever seen. That is Dean Graziosi and Mr. Tony Robbins. Welcome to the World Summit. The most successful people are the people that don't know enough, but they do it anyway. So I want you to know you're living in the greatest time possible to do well in winter. The world is changing. And the fact of the matter is the world may never go back to the way it used to be. Instead of us wanting to go back, instead of us waiting for someone to save us, how about we get out in front of it and decide we know where the world is going and take ownership of it. 2,100 entrepreneurs all over the world in 68 countries. But today we have something new on top of that. So take a look. We have 750 people here, our platinum partners and their guests. We got live and person. If business is about one thing, finding a way to do more for others than anybody else, finding a way to add more what? Add more value to them than anybody else in your marketplace, then if you do that, you will eventually dominate. Your job is to become more valuable. Your job is to do more for others than anybody else is doing in your area. If you do it better than anybody else and you do it consistently, you'll build a brand. When you build a brand, people get on their knees and reach behind the other product and get yours. I, I hit my goals, and my goal was to take my mom that was dying on a jet because I was yes. going to make enough money. Wow. And, and my business after Business Mastery grew 110%. Give her a hand, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. Thank you. I'm so happy. I feel like I'm a strong single mama, and I feel like she's thriving as a result, and I'm showing her what a, a strong mama is. With accolades comes close to what it feels like when you do something completely unselfish, where they can't even say thank you. It's something it does to the soul. One million! I can't thank you enough for your generosity, for your willingness, for your creativity. And I know this will be just one more moment in your life you can look back on and know that together we did something really beautiful tonight. There's an unbelievable gift in life that comes when you can step outside of yourself, no matter what your problems are, and find a way to help somebody else who's got a more challenging time than yourself. We have a diversity of programs, but the one unifying theme is we want to help people that most society has forgotten. If you care about those people, uh, please join us in our mission to just touch a life or two, or 10 or a thousand or a million or more. Know that life's not just about me, it's about we. That the secret to living really is giving, and that if you, can take just a little bit of your time in the midst of your own difficulties and help somebody who's worse off. The person who gets the greatest gift always is yourself because we're made to give, we're made to grow, we're made to contribute beyond ourselves and that's what makes our life meaningful. Tony explained to me like I do I do that cold plunge every morning and every morning I feel the same way I don't want to get in that plunge and I say you're getting in that plunge who, who among the world's great teachers and thinkers let alone Tony himself who I consider to be like a superman Christ figure a sort of a, amalgam of inconceivable testosterone fueled potency and ludicrous kindness now you're ready for you're ready for the real truth now. So this program is about happiness. We used to call it the spiritual program and no one want to show up. Spirit is where all it comes from, right? It's the spirit of your soul, the spirit of your heart that makes you happy. It's not the external things as we all know. This idea of fulfillment, this idea of being able to find happiness or even joy, it'll start with acceptance. And once you get to acceptance, you can find appreciation. And once you find appreciation, you can start to find something to actually perhaps love or enjoy. 
or be grateful for. And this week is about really touching upon that art so we can have that same level of clarity, that same level of conviction that we know how to manifest on the external. And so happiness is really more of an internal experience. And the beauty of it, the pain of it, the loss of it, and somehow that all fits under this umbrella called life. How beautiful is it to let go of all expectations? Transformation happens in our soul and heart, not in our head. Fear, you no longer dominate me. Pleaser, you no longer dominate me. Wow. Awesome. And even in the beginning of this process, when you said, do you want to be happy or special? I was like, I just want to be happy because when I wanted to be special, I needed significance. I needed to be certain. And it just pushed everything away. And now it's about growth. It's about comp contribution. It's about being me and um, loving all that's love. How does it feel to have fear no longer dominate your decisions? Incredible. Yeah, it just... When you get comfortable inside yourself, the deepest fear that you have, that you're not enough and you won't be loved, will disappear. By the fact that you're here, the hunger you have to be more, do more, give more, share more, you have sculpted your heart and souls to get to a place in your life that most people will never dream of. And yet, you can still feel such unhappiness unless you can get to this next stage where you're happy because you're you, not because of what you do. I think if you really took the time to see what you come from, to where you are now, and you were an outsider, you'd be proud of that person. How many would agree with that? <laughs> so take that in, give her a hand, beautiful job, Thank you. give her a hand. What's beautiful? You said beautiful so many times, Christian. You said beautiful so many times. There's a language to happiness. There's a language to our spirit that opens our heart to our own truth. Never mind the external. Through the night. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome to the stage Tony. back in person, ladies and gentlemen. This program was sold out two and a half months in advance, so we have 3,000 people around the world and 90 countries attending. They're all on the walls. How are you guys doing at home out there? Give it up for the people at home. We've been so looking forward to serving you. And we're excited. I'm excited because I know what's coming and you don't. The most powerful thing we can control is what we do here and here. And so my goal with you this few days is to have you have the time of your life wall you're mastering these patterns. Like what makes you happy? What makes you angry? What makes you excited? What makes you passionate? What makes you divisive? Whatever your pattern of focus is, is what's controlling your life. Whatever pattern of meaning is, is what's controlling your life. And if you don't like your home, we need more energy. We need some new emotions to put in there to shift it. It's where you live emotionally that determines the quality of your life. I don't want to be taken care of. I want to take care of. I am a goddess of light, and I can heal anyone with my voice. That's beautiful. Your soul. In you, as you, this is the real you. Unfettered by limiting beliefs, unfettered by expectations. This is trading expectation for appreciation. This is what it feels like. Appreciating what's already here inside you all that you felt, all that we've had the privilege to experience, to love, to enjoy. It's not something you have to pursue, it's already here. You just have to get rid of the clutter in the mind. Come back to the truth inside you. Make the sound one more time, go! How y'all doing? We have 97 countries now in this virtual room, ladies and gentlemen. Six languages being translated. And we also have a thousand people here live. Welcome to Date with Destiny. And for some of you, welcome home, welcome back. This is my 87th Date with Destiny in 34 years. Blows my mind. What we're dealing with, we've always dealt with in humanity is 
the things that shape us most, the invisible forces. Everything you think, everything you say, everything you do, everything you feel, it's controlled by your beliefs and your values. And this week, rather than just continue to live with the ones we have, we're gonna uncover what they actually are. So when the times change, it's critical that you change with them. I'm going to just stop waiting to have it all figured out and just go for it and start taking bold, massive action. Embark on the journey, the greatest adventure that I've ever had in my life. The fastest way to change your life is change your story. Because your story is nothing but the narrative that you have about who you are. It defines your identity by what you've done, what you're doing, where you're going. Because if you change your story, you change everything. In 2020, COVID hit, you gave us the beautiful gift of Master University Online. And my whole family did it with me. Wow. And Tony, she does morning incantations. She's written her own. She, she's- Give a hand for her, that's incredible, that's awesome. So I can't thank you enough for what you've done for my family and for what you have done for this planet. I'm honored, thank you very much. Thank you. Because when we go home from here, there's this collective field. The gift isn't just our inner transformation. The gift is when we go home and somebody hits our stuff, somebody does something that is unexpected and we feel that tension or that resistance building inside of us, it's a remembrance that they're doing the best they can and they're innocent, just like me, just like you. Everybody is doing the best they can. And from that perspective, you just show like the connectedness. That's where we all meet in this human experience. It's where we all meet in our own innocence, but in the gift of recognizing that for another. This is the moment. This is what you've come for. This is why we've worked around the clock. All to come to a moment where you, my dear friends, can choose your destiny by choosing consciously what you're gonna value for this next stage of your life. What's gonna be most important to you, not assigned to you by someone else, not conditioned to you by society or your past. Bringing back your own authority that God has given you the power to choose. And tonight we choose a new system, an enhanced system, not a perfect one, a beautiful one. One that will make us be even better, enjoy our life even more perhaps contribute even more, perhaps have more freedom, more joy, more playfulness, more love, more gratitude, a much greater quality of life.